Hey guys, Carlo here uh, from Monte Carlo 712 and also Let's Cut Foam. Um, but I'm just, uh, I wanted to show you guys a quick video um, while I'm uploading all of my hot wire foam cutter videos to Let's Cut Foam. That doesn't mean that I won't be doing an occasional video on Monte Carlo 712 with um, this particular channel being a little bit more personable, um, a little bit more personal, uh, but also towards, uh, geared more towards miniature wargaming and that kind of stuff. The reason why I originally got into foam cutting to begin with. Um, but long story short, real quick, um, you know, just uh, I wanted to show you guys this video. Um, Tim McCohen from JLMiniatures.com uh, just did some custom miniatures for me, some conversions on one of the uh, armies that I'm in the process of building. I do have probably a for Warhammer Fantasy Battle, um, anywhere from about 35 to um, 3,500 to maybe 4,000 points um, as far as an Empire army is concerned. Um, but I'm in the process of at least building up my um, armies for um, uh, Ogre Kingdoms and the Warriors of Chaos. I think the Warriors of Chaos is going to be the third army that I do. Um, I do have a couple of models through them, but I was kind of thinking I might do Tomb Kings. Um, but we'll, that'll, we'll see how that turns out. Um, but anyway, uh, I had a couple of pieces that I, I wanted Tim to do for me. He is taking conversions. Uh, he will do, um, he'll, he'll just convert models for you, but he'll also convert and paint if you want him to, or he'll just paint for you. Um, he's, he's, a, he's a great hobbyist. Um, you know, he has his own shop, you know, jlminiatures.com, um, located in, in Michigan. But um, let me just zoom in. It's, this is going to be kind of an unboxing video. Um, I couldn't wait to turn the camera on so I have already uh, jumped into looking at these miniatures and they're, they're absolutely fantastic. It's exactly what I wanted. So um, I'll quick run you through these and uh, we'll show you then. Okay. So this is one of the man eaters that I had Tim make. Um, he used a lot of his own bits to do this. Um, I did send him some but um, those basically just came from the pack. Now he used a lot of really, really cool pieces on this. Um, you know, he did custom make some green stuff, uh, which you can kind of see. Um, you know, I wanted this to be a Nurgle theme uh, conversion or Nurgle army. So you can see the Nurgle symbol kind of coming out there. Um, I mean, just look at the detail work that Tim does. He even, uh, with green stuff, he even made um, a separate band um, of like a chain or, um, you know, rope kind of bound together there. Um, but this is just one of the pieces, um, you know, these kind of spines going up the backside. Some of these pieces he used from Chaos Spawn, um, but other ones he didn't, you know, did sort of make himself. Um, but you can kind of see the tentacles coming out of the arm. And of course, uh, you know, the horn uh, on the head. This is one of the other man eaters. Um, again, kind of using green stuff. Um, he did put the pustules um, all around the back. You can see those highlighted here. And he also had this kind of cool growth going um, along the shoulder to the back of the head. And of course the, the horn again, but it's kind of, you can tell it's kind of pulling, kind of pulling the head off to the side a little bit. Um, and replacing one of the hands with at least a spike. A pretty cool piece. One of the other pieces I was going to have him make um, was a champion for my uh, ogre bulls. You can tell again, kind of some really cool custom green stuff work. Um, again, with your pustules, but also, you know, growths coming up on the back side of the arms. Um, and his head and neck are also kind of pulled to the side, uh, which has a really unique look to it. He also put this uh, axe on it, which is pretty sweet. Again, you know, with the three rings for Nurgle, of course. And last but certainly not least, I wanted a champion for the Iron Guts. Um, so again, he kind of has these uh, uh, tendrils coming out the backside of him, just some more chaos spawn bits. Um, you know, this one has a, I don't know if you can see it, but it has an eye on the end of it. Um, Tim also did uh, custom make this weapon 
um, this kind of sword axe. It's actually out of um, just an, a piece of plastic card that he had. Um, that's actually really, really nice. I don't know if you guys can see the detail with it being that white. Um, but he did shave that down by hand. Not a ton of green stuff needed on this one because it's already cool as it is. Um, it's definitely exactly what I wanted. So I'd like to thank Tim again uh, for doing those custom pieces for me. They turned out really, really well and very, very happy. Um, so any of you guys that are uh, interested in having any conversion work done um, or uh, just painting or conversion and painting, Tim does single miniatures, full armies. I mean, he does a really, really good job. Um, I know he's finishing up a uh, clown themed or circus themed uh, Ogre Kingdom's army right now. He's doing a full army with conversions for a, a gentleman. So um, those videos are turning out pretty cool too. So um, definitely go check out Tim. Uh, his prices are very, very reasonable and very competitive. Um, and his turnaround time was really good. I know he squeezed in um, these pieces and it was like from when I shipped it to got it back, it was not more than two weeks, I can say that. I mean, if it was, it was pushing 14 days, but um, certainly based on uh, how busy he is. But uh, either way, that's, he, he works on it and he gets it done. So um, aside from that, guys, uh, just wanted to show off my new miniatures. One of these days I'll get some paint on them and I'll um, update it then. But I'll probably get the whole army built before I start painting. But we'll see how it goes. So take it easy. We'll catch you next time.